Well, praise the Lord. This is Bishop, but you already know that. What you may not know is that normally uh, when you see me, I'm either in the sanctuary, in the pulpit, or on the floor, sometimes in my office, and other times at home in my study. But today, I'm actually in my conference room at the office here at church, and as you can see, there there's a wall of books behind me. And uh, this is just a small fraction of my library. Uh, I have another one at home, upstairs and downstairs. I guess it's safe to say I love books. And I particularly love books on preaching, uh, among other things, books on history, books on politics, biographies and autobiographies. But I love books on preaching. And nothing is better to me than a book on the history of preaching, uh, particularly African-American preaching. I'm saying all of that because yesterday I posted a Facebook post about an Advent series that I am so excited about. Several of my sons and sisters in Berean collaborated with me, really. They did most of the work and came up with this marvelous series for Advent 2023. And you can access that by going to our BereanLeadership.org website. The information will be there on the page. In fact, um, there is a minimum registration requirement. It gets you your own personal, private code of access that you can access all the information, the outlines, everything pertinent to this uh, Advent series. Listen, um, let me just say before I go further, we have already decided. I talked with Dr. Early and uh, my son, and he said, listen, why don't we take 100% of whatever is raised through registration and let's commit to helping some pastor or pastors purchase a Logos Bible software program. So even though we're only um, asking $25, none of it will stay with Berean. Certainly none of it will go to me. I love preaching. Preaching didn't just change my life. Preaching saved my life. I am who I am because preachers, you know who they are. You've heard me call their names over and over again. Took this word, watch this, opened it up, expounded, explored, explained, exegeted it, and my life has never been the same. I want that to happen every time a man or woman of God stands to preach. Every time in public worship, the word is open. I want that same potential, that same possibility, that same promise to happen. And so because of that, knowing that preaching is arduous work, and the only thing harder than preaching is preparing to preach. And so for those of you who say, it's Christmas, it's Advent, I'm busy, I've got a lot going on. Or maybe saying, I don't know how to prime the pump. I've said it so many times. I think this Advent series will be revolutionary, not just for you, but for your congregation. Listen, I want to encourage you, go online. The address will be right in the, what's it called, the lower fourth, and uh, go online. Your investment will help pastors be able to access tools through Logos that will enhance their ministry. You will be stretched and blessed, and the people you preach to 
will be blessed as well. I want to show you something. Don't tell anybody I showed you. Wait a minute. You see this one? This is a good one. That's goat skin. Soft. This is my very first Bible. It was presented to me by my Aunt Betty Christmas 1966. This Bible was presented to me in June 1969 by my childhood church, First Church of God, 1425 Beach Channel Drive, Far Rockaway, New York. 1966, 1969, and every day in between, this book, the Bible, the living word of the living God, has guided my life, fed me and led me. And I've been blessed not only to preach, but by preaching. I want to encourage you. Take part in this. Give yourself the blessing of an Advent series that will change your life and the lives of those who hear you. I love you with all my heart. Thanks for taking some minutes with me. I love you. Be blessed.